when we multiply matrices, um, the dimensions are a little bit more complicated in terms of how they have to match up. So when I'm checking if I can multiply two matrices, if I line them up in the order that I want to multiply them in, then, and I write out the dimensions, These two, what I'm going to call inner dimensions, have to match. And the outer dimensions tell me how large the result will be. So if I multiply A times B, my result will be a 2 by 3 matrix. So now let's get to the actual multiplying part. So A times B. Um, and we said this is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. My inner dimensions match, which means it's possible to multiply them. Those outer dimensions tell me how big the result will be. So I'm going to give myself lots of space. This is going to be a 2 by 3 matrix. So I'm setting myself up here. Um, the more you practice matrix multiplication, the faster you will get. I cannot stress enough that it is important that you actually practice doing a bunch of these on your own. That's why there are so many assigned in your homework um, to do a bunch of addition and subtraction and multiplication because when it comes time for the final exam or even your next quiz, um, maybe not tomorrow, but next week, um, for sure. We all know that speed is a factor uh, in this class, and so it is important to get faster with the multiplication. I'm going to do this one really slow. So what I've laid out here are the six entries that we're going to have in our result of A times B here is my two by three matrix. And I'm going to go ahead and label each of these entries. So this is the first row, first column. And rather than using this notation, I'm going to be a little bit more explicit and say this is row one, column one. And that's a little bit more, if you're used to using Excel, um, the way that each cell in Excel is labeled is based on the row and column it's in. So that's row one, column one. Here's row one, column two. Row one, column three. Row two, column one. Row two, column two. And row two, column three. When you're first starting multiplying matrices, um, at least for the first couple you do, I find it really helpful to actually write these out because these end up being the instructions for what goes in that entry. So this piece is row one, column one, which means I'm going to get the entry here by taking row one from our matrix A and multiplying that by column one of matrix B. Well, what goes in here is actually the dot product. So I'm, I'm taking the dot product of this row and this column, which means I'm going to match up the entries, multiply those together, and then add between our entries. So that's going to look like 2 times 1 plus 3 times negative 1. plus negative one times two. To get row one, column two, I'm going to take that same row over there, but this time I'm multiplying by column two. So now my entries are going to look like two times four, plus 
3 times 0 plus negative 1 times 1. Row 1, column 3. So here's my column 3. 2 times 5 plus 3 times 2 plus negative 1 times 1. Now it's time to move to multiplying through our second call, our second row, rather. Okay, so now our focus is on the second row. So row two times column one. So row two over here, column one over here. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna maybe do the arithmetic in my head. Now nah, that's too dangerous. I'm gonna write it out. Uh, zero times one, so I've got zero. Four times negative one. And two times two. Now I'm looking for the second row times the second column. I've got zero, zero, two. And last, row two, column three. Row two, column three, I've got zero, eight, two. 